Hi guys, this is Heather from Whipper Will Creations. Today I'm going to show you how to do this uh, wood grain pattern. And there's one here that is a knot. It, this is kind of a, this is not really a knot. This is just the wood grain of the pattern and the way they cut it. Um, I, <laughs> sorry, I don't have a fresh cup to work on. This is my last one and I've just been practicing since this is all new to me. So this was a failed uh, decal inlay to make it look like a faux inlay. And I was just playing with my blues. They are Tim Holtz inks. And so I sanded it down with a 240 grit as smooth as I could get it. And I just gave it a base coat of spray, white spray paint. And this is all that's left because I wanted to make sure I got had good coverage. So I'm going to attempt to recreate that. And these are my three blue inks I've got. Um, and I apologize. This camera does not autofocus for me. But this one is Stream, Mermaid, and Aquamarine. And I used the two lighters. I'm pretty sure I used the aquamarine first and the stream because this one, the mermaid, is a little green. And I was trying to stay with blues. So I, I'm pretty sure that these are the two that I used. So. We're going to start out with aquamarine and we're just going to um, brush it all the way from top to bottom. And I don't know how this is going to work because my camera, let's see, will I be able to do it? Barely. That's okay. When I did, let me show you the first one, the first successful one. And I apologize for the glare. The window is right next to my desk here. I made this for my friend in Louisiana. She sends me little gifts and I sent her little gifts. Um, Her name is Karen, but it turned out pretty good. I used a filbert brush because I was noticing that when I was doing the square brushes, the, the flat tip brushes, they weren't, it, it wasn't working for me. I was just not happy. So I switched to using this old, it's a filbert. Um, the end is round. And this is about a, maybe a three-quarter inch. And this is an old makeup brush that I don't, I don't use. Uh, I have lots of makeup brushes that I don't use. Um, getting older, you, you know, you have wrinkles, so you have to make sure you change with the times. <laughs> you got to change your makeup so you don't uh, accentuate the wrinkles as opposed to hiding them. But I used this with uh, Sunshine Yellow and Butterscotch, Tim Holtz. And I don't want to contaminate my blue inks. So I went to the smaller makeup brush that I had. So we're going to try to do it with this. I have a bigger one to make wider brush, brush marks. I might try this with the second color. I also have these. Sorry, I'm tilting the wrong way. And then I have this one, the end. Can you tell I was a little bit of a makeup freak? It bends. It's got a hinge on it. Um, this one, if you're really interested, this one came from Dalton. I got most of my brushes actually from Ulta. It's a beauty supply store, beauty store, whatever. It's got, they have everything. But anyways, we're going to try 
I'm going to try using this for the first color. And like I said, I'm not sure if this is actually the first color I used or not. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this upside right side up and I'm going to drip it so it comes straight down and then I'll tip it really quick so I can you can see me brush it. So I'm just going to give a good stream. Aquamarine. I'm just brushing it top to bottom and it doesn't matter if it doesn't get all that way. You just add another one. With a smaller brush you don't get as much coverage. So actually I'm going to lay this here. I'm going to try this one and it'll probably probably won't work the few couple strokes because it needs to absorb the ink into the bristles. And then I just actually when I'm done I just uh, dip. Ooh, they're pretty. I just dip this in a little cup of alcohol and I just keep reapplying fresh alcohol. Yeah. Now this brush, this brush might be a little too, too big. I'm going to turn it on its side so that it goes this way instead of this way. So we'll get, we're almost done here. And I don't worry about stuff like this because the second coat is where I'm going to do my marks. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit right here. See if I can't get this a little deeper. Is that glare bothering? I apologize. I'm Oh, I like the look of that. that striation right there. I'm going to take this up. Oh, shoot. You know what? <laughs> see how I got that all. Can you see? Oh, trying to avoid that glare. Can you see the blotches from my where my bristles were? I went right in right here instead of starting here. I started right here. And one second. I splattered a little ink on my desk. I should have laid down some paper. And I don't want to stain my antique desk. So I'm going to lay this right here. That's dry already, so it's not going to work. All right, so now I'm going to come in with, what did I say I was going to use a stream? I'm going to put the lid back on this aquamarine. I always wear a rubber glove. Because this is what happens when you don't. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, stream. <clears throat> I'm going to try using... Oh. Well, I'll use the big brush. I'll just use it this way. I'm going to come down here. I like this look right here, so I'm going to keep that. Oh, well, actually, it's just going to go away. The way these, the way these ink work, it, once you re-wet them, I don't, maybe I didn't use stream. What did I use? No idea. I only have these three blues. Oop, 
getting away from me. Oh, wish I could get rid of that glare. This is coming across, when I look at it, it's got a green tint. When I'm looking at it through the monitor, it's looking really blue. I'm going to switch brushes now. I'm going to... Let's create a knot right here. Let's see if I can create a knot. I'm going to apply some ink. I didn't really squeeze the bottle. I started in the middle. And I got some really nice brush strokes there. That is going to have to go away. Now I'm going to apply a little less ink. My personal and I'm flicking. You have to work fast or it will dry on you like just like that did. Flicking my wrist as I go. I don't like this color. But this is just a practice cup. This is the only cup I have left. Oops. All right. So if you see something when you do that and you go too far, it's okay. Just keep going. Just adds dimension. Shorter flicks. Even less ink, shorter flicks. You see? And now I'm going to take, where'd that go? I'm going to take this, you can use any brush. I'm just going to use this one because it bends on me. And I have ink on the top of my bottle, so I'm going to try to apply it just by, well, that's a dry. Yeah, I'm going to I'm just going to get some ink on my bristle. And see if I can just apply. That's going to be too much. A little bit. You'll have to do this in, a, I think, a couple attempts. Ah, too soon. That's okay. A little more. And the nature of, whoops. The nature of wood is that the imperfect is perfect. So now I'm going to try to get my knot. A little darker. Let that dry. See this knot right here, how the center is dark? That's what I'm trying to accomplish right here. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to try to soak up most of the alcohol in this bristles. So that it doesn't get stiff on me. It still cleans out if your if your if your brush gets dry and stiff. Oh no! You guys can't see it, but I have alcohol ink 
all oh spiders all over. Terry's gonna kill me. I put it down. Put a paper towel down there. Mm. I can't tip this. My cheetah cup. Can you see? I did not seal the bottom of the cup. And I've been testing this in the dishwasher. And it's gone through uh, two times successfully. And the third time, this started happening. So I'm going... There's no damage to the glitter, which I'm really grateful for. But I'm going to have to... It's This was one of the first successful cups I did, if you want to call it successful. But... Um, I just love the glitter, the cheetah print. But I'm going to have to sand this down just a little bit and then do another coat of epoxy, especially around the edge of this and around the bottom because I did not seal the bottom. So at, FYI, just in case you guys are thinking of doing cups and not sealing the bottom, I would suggest sealing the bottom. I don't know. My, these are just cheap cups from Walmart. They were uh, on sale for $5 a piece. So, and like I said, I'm just practicing right now. I'm not uh, ready to start selling. At least I don't feel like I am. I'm going to try another knot. Right here. And I'm going to add just a little extra because I'm going to use my big brush so that I can get a big, try to get a big, a big wide knot. And that did not work. Here we go. Apparently, we can't do big knots. Big wide. I want a wide knot is what I mean when I say a big knot. Shorter bristle stroke. Shorter strokes. Now. From the edge. I'm trying to start at the X outside of the edge and pull up. That does not look the best. So guess what? We just start over. If you don't like something, just keep going with the ink because that's the that's the beauty of this ink. I love this. The fact that if you don't like it. You just do it over. I must have something in my... Oh, the bristle. And that's okay, too. Um, you can't see it. Maybe you can. A little hair got stuck right there, so it's a cross line. But this looks good right here, so... I'm going to get away from the big brussel and I'm going to go back to the little because my next line I want it to be in the... Um, let's do this. See how it's got an odd shape? That's perfect because that's the imperfectness of wood. Oh. A little shorter strokes. And I'm using less ink as I go. 
and shorter strokes. And I've got to do something about this. I'm not quite sure what to do here. Hang on. I'll add a little ink to my bristles and see if I can't. Yay! That took care of that right away. I have another spot right there. Isn't that pretty? What do you think? I'm going to go in. I'm going to attempt one more line. Flicking it. Just flicking. Nice. Now you may like to, um, so there's the first one. There's this one. You may like working from the top. <laughs> so, let's try it. I'm going to try to keep this one just with my little brush. And I've got a white spot right there, so might as well use it. And I'm trying to keep my strokes the same length so that I can emphasize that point right there. Now I'm going to go in and make a little shorter one. Make a little shorter one. Oh! Whew, good thing that napkin paper towel is there. Pretty! And then we'll just do a really tiny one right at the bottom. Just like that. And if you see something that you don't like, just go over it. We'll put another knot right here. Can you see? Started in the middle because I want two ends. Another little dot. Oops, that was just a little too much, I think. Let's make our strike shorter. Strokes shorter. And I'm just flicking my wrist. Green. I don't know what I used, but. I don't think it was stream, to be honest with you. And I'm going to leave that one as is. I'm going to leave that white, center white. And let's see, I had aquamarine and a stream. I'm going to just try the mermaid just for the heck of it. You know what? I've never used... These are all brand new to me. And this looks like it has been used. So maybe I did use this one. I'm going to put a little bit on here. Oh. Yes. It must have been the mermaid. Who knows, maybe I did the mermaid first. I'd, oh, golly gee. Okay, that was just all the way up and down. I'm trying to make this a little wider with this brush, so I'm pushing really hard. I apologize. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm trying to... Hold this so that you can get it at the angle so you can see it without the glare. Shorter strokes every time, less ink every time. And kind of, oh, that's, golly gee, you guys cannot see the color. 
this camera is not giving me the the actual intense color on, on this camera it's just blues this is actually like an, a, a beautiful teal And I don't like that end there, so I'm going to add a little more ink and just do it over. There we go. That's a little better. Shorter strokes as I go because I've got enough ink here. Is that not cool? So there you go. This was just a practice cup. It's not going to be, I'm not going to epoxy it. I'll just use it as a reference maybe. Or I'll just clean it off. I wish that you guys could see the real color. This is a gorgeous teal. This is a light blue. This is a gorgeous deep teal. Here's another, that's another teal. But that's how I do my strokes. My, um, this is actually just wood grain. It's not really a knot. Um, there may have been a knot in, in some point when it, but as, as you cut lumber, there are layers, of course. And that's the grain of the wood all goes one direction. But if you cut it at an off angle, you're going to get these lines. So I could go back and I could fix this. I'd have to redo all of that. But that's basically it. If you're going to do a knot, um, if you're going to do these striations, uh, or this grain type wood, you want to alternate so that it comes down and then up and then occasionally put in a, a this would be a knot. I would eventually put in a little dark spot in there, maybe. Or I would just leave it as is, which is what I was going to do in the first place. And then this one came from the bottom. This one is right in the middle. But if you notice, this one is not in the same place as this one. So you want to make it just a random pattern. You don't want um, uniformity. Because the perfect just... The perfection of wood is the imperfect. So there you have it. Um, wash, rinse, repeat. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Share this if you uh, think that it's worthy of it. I'm going to clean my brushes out and try to get the ink off my desk. I don't usually work up here. This is where I make my jewelry. And um, my computer, my, my cut and scanner, and my printer is up here. And it's warmer. And it's so cold that the basement is just, I didn't want, I was cringing just thinking about it. But, put my hand up for the sunish. There. I put my arm there. Oh, that's my computer notifying me something's happening. Isn't that pretty? Anyways. I'm just digressing here now. <laughs> Excuse me. So, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, give me some suggestions of what you want to see. I would. Uh, I love trying new things. I. Um, my girlfriend Tinker tells me uh, that I am like a dog. <laughs> Because someone says squirrel, and, and I have to look and see what's going on. Anyways, that's just me. Um, I lose interest really fast in certain things. Anyway, it's not really, it's just like I feel like I'm losing my creativity. So I have to do something else to keep that alive. And I love working with my hands and um, creating things out of raw materials. Which is why I did the jewelry. Or I still do do the jewelry. But right now I'm on this cupcake, and it's a lot of fun um, trying new things and making stuff and playing with glitters. I don't have a huge supply of glitters. Um, 
I have a shelf full, but that's probably nothing compared to what everybody else probably has. But I'm getting better as I go, so, and I'm enjoying it. And um, anytime you guys want to see, uh, and if I fail, I fail. It's I'm going to keep the video no matter what. So, and I see my battery is about to go dead. So I'm going to stop rambling and let you guys go. And thanks again. Um, bless you all for coming. I really appreciate it. And subscribe. And uh, I will see you next time. Thanks again. Bye.